Good morning. This is Pastor Lance from Our Savior Lutheran Church in West Columbia, South Carolina, and this is Daily Prayer for August 24th, a Monday here in the year 2020. And we are here this morning to read some scripture, study just a little bit, and then pray. When I was a kid, let me grab this. No, not when I was a kid, when I had kids. I used to play a game with them, and we'd say, I'd say, well, what's what's a book? What, what's it made of? And they'd say, paper. I'd say, oh, okay. Well, what's paper made of? And they would say, uh, paper's made from wood. Very good. And then I would ask them, and where do we get wood from? Trees. And what? where do we get trees from? Well, now you're kind of back to square one. You can save more trees, that would be correct, but you just take the game further and further back and eventually you've got to go down with the fact that God created trees. And so it's all rooted in, and even something like a book then is ultimately rooted in God's creation. And so all things come from God. And it was a game just to kind of show that God is the, that kind of first article of the creed stuff. Believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. It's all God. It's all God's work. It's all God's gift. Psalm 8, which is our reading today, is a psalm about creation, yes, but it's also about a special part of creation to God. Let's see what that is. Psalm 8. O Lord, our sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouths of babes and infants, you have founded a bulwark because of your foes to silence the enemy and the avenger. When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have established, what are human beings that you are mindful of them, mortals that you care for them? Yet you have made them a little lower than God and crown them with glory and honor. You have given them dominion over the works of our hands. You have put all things under their feet, all sheep and oxen, and also the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, and the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the paths of the sea. O Lord, our sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Yeah! As a matter of fact, it is uh, humanity, is, uh, the psalmist says, uh, second only to God. Well, gosh, are we? Well, in a way, yes, because we have, when it says dominion, right, that means a power over it. We can either lift it up, we can utilize it, but we can also destroy it. And so there's a bit of a green message here, but the message isn't just be kind to the earth, Right? And the message isn't, be kind to earth because she's your mother. The message is, be kind to earth. Right, Utilize it, yes, for the benefit of others. Uh, because it's God's creation. That's what he created it for. And that's what glorifies him. A dog is a smart critter. Uh, a dog knows when about dinner time. Right? But a dog doesn't know about dinner time upcoming on September 3rd. No, the, the, a, God does, a dog does not glorify God by reasoning about it. A dog glorifies God just by being a dog. A tree glorifies God just by being a tree. A rock. Be your rockiest rock and you're glorifying God. But God has given humanity a special place in the universe uh, to have dominion over our world, uh, which means, yes, to utilize it, uh, to feed others, yes, to use it to build shelter, yes, to use it to uh, prevent people from, you know, it's it's a godly thing to study earthquakes. Why? So that we know how to predict them and learn how to get people out of harm's way or hurricanes or what have you. Uh, All those things are using creation to glorify God. And by saving lives, we're glorifying God. And so God has given a special place in the universe where we do have uh, some, some real power. The psalmist says, second only to God himself. That's a lot of power, but it's true. We've got the ability 
to build this planet up or to tear it down. And it's not ours to tear down. That's the point. It's not ours. We're merely stewards of the garden. We're, that's our job to help take care of it. It's our job to participate in it. But it all belongs to God because He made it. So go out today. Find something beautiful in nature. I don't care if it's a cloud. I don't care if it's a sunset. I don't care if it's a tree. I don't care if it's tenacious grass growing up at the side of the road, some crack in the sidewalk. Just look at it. Just see how that weed glorifies God by pushing away all that other stuff and growing its weediest. Our prayer today is the prayer for the stewardship of natural resources. And this puts a nice summary on it. So listen to the words and pray along with me. Almighty God, in giving us dominion over things on earth, you made us co-workers in your creation. Give us wisdom and reverence to use the resources of nature so that no one may suffer from our abuse of it. And that generations yet to come may continue to praise you in your bounty. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who taught us and his disciples to pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. One last chance, please, if you would, subscribe uh, to this YouTube channel. Uh, share this video if you like it. Uh, if you want others to see videos of this type, share it and make sure you like it. Uh, feel free to leave a comment. You can do that at the email listed on this uh, graphic right here or uh, in the YouTube comments. We get notice of when we have those, so we'll happily read those. Questions, complaints, anything you want to know. We'll do, we will endeavor to do what we can.